I don't know whether to say that I thought your show was brilliant or blame you both for giving me heart palpitations. So, <laughs> I mean, I thought the show was brilliant. I, I, I had you. I had no idea where it was going, but you all made me sweat. So thank you, I suppose, <laughs> is in order. You're welcome, I think. You're welcome. Dude. <laughs> but the thing, this is what strikes me before we get into this. And we got a lot to talk about, not enough time. You are so pleasant, Mr. Jackson Cohen, but you are so good at being an ass. (laughs) How? I don't know how you do it. Like everything. They always say, they always say, never trust, never trust the nice ones. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) So I shouldn't trust you during this interview. It should just be me me and Gugu talking. (laughs) I'll just be like silently, uh, silently staring in the background. So let's just start at the beginning then. What attracted you both to this project? We'll start with Google, then go to Oliver. Well, I read the script and I knew Hello Sunshine were making it. um, And uh, it really drew me in. Veronica West's writing was so intense and there was a real tension. And you saw everything through Sophie's eyes. Immediately you were in her shoes. And I just kind of jumped into this place, this time, San Francisco. There was something almost like noirish about the world. And um, I hadn't done a psychological thriller at that point. Uh, when I read it and uh, to have this all through this woman's perspective, I thought was really refreshing and cool. So um, yeah, I was in as soon as I read the pilot. <laughs> Go ahead, Oliver. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's similarly, I mean, you know, sent the scripts and I just thought the premise was, was such a, uh, you know, amnesia we've dealt, we've seen amnesia before, but I feel like we've never quite seen it like this. And, and the way that nothing is ever what it seems and the whole premise of if you wake up and you don't know anything about your life is it a fresh start or are you kind of destined to make the same mistakes again uh you know and so i just think that that's such an exciting kind of premise and i i loved uh i i really wanted to work with gugu and hello sunshine and i just thought the scripts are incredible is it amnesia though? Is there more to this? We can't say. <laughs> we won't say because that's spoilerish, or the people on this line will get upset at me. But we'll just say that the thing about Surface that is so appealing to me and will appeal to everybody when they watch it on Apple TV Plus, there's your plug, um, is that nothing ever is what it seems. It keeps you guessing to the end. And as a performer, and we'll end on this question, does that just get you so excited that you know the audience is going to be on their edge to the very end. Oh my goodness. I mean, when I was reading as the scripts were coming in, I was, you know, literally it was such a page turner. And I mean, I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> but reading reading the scripts, you know, you really are on the edge of your seat. Every character, you have to reassess every episode. Somebody you, you think you didn't trust, you see them in a new light. Somebody you really liked, now suddenly your perspective of them shifted. So, um, so it really keeps you guessing. And there's, you know, a juicy love triangle in the middle of it as well, you know, and with uh, Stefan James. So there's, there's a lot, um, there's a lot of layers to the show, which, you know, I always appreciate. And, um, the complexities of human relationships and secrets and marriages. I just think everybody can relate to. Anything to add, Oliver, real quick? That, I mean, Gugu it said it more eloquently than I ever could. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. James, we have a lot to talk about. This show stressed me out. Uh, I feel like that you're partially to blame for this because when I look at you, you are such a nice guy. You, 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 you're pleasant in other interviews that I've seen, but in this show, you are deceptive and <laughs> it is, I don't want to get into how, because that'll ruin the show for people, but this is not like anything you've ever done before. So what attracted you to this project? I think, I think you, you, you hit the nail, you know, right in the coffin, man. It just, you know, for me, it's just like, how do I flip the narrative on, on, you know, some of my past work and and who people may think that I am. Um, and when Veronica, you know, called me and presented this opportunity to play this undercover cop, um, you know, that we don't totally understand, um, you know, that lives in sort of this gray area. Um, it was very, very exciting. You know, I'd like to say that I'm a little bit 
I like to think I'm a little bit aloof and mysterious in my own life. And so to bring some of that out um, in a character was just a very exciting uh, proposition. What I like about your career, not that you asked, but I'm going to tell you what I like about your career, is that you associate yourself with projects with high quality writing from Beale Street, Homecoming, I can name others, and now you come to this. I mean, is it something you're always looking for? Not necessarily the character, but just how well written your parts are? Because there is a definite pattern I can point at especially now with Veronica, because this is about as well written of a, of, of a series as I've seen this year. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I think that's, you know, that's definitely a big, a big piece of it, right? We, you know, that's how we decide the things we're doing. You know, we have to, we have to read and we have to buy into the store. We have to buy into these characters, um, into their emotional arcs. I will say television is a little, different, right? You don't always have all the scripts like you do in, in film where it's like you have beginning, middle and end. Um, sometimes it's an evolution, right? Sometimes the writers are writing as the show is going, um, as they're seeing the performances that are emanating. And so, um, you know, I, I will say just having an ultimate, you know, trust in Veronica and her vision um, really helped make that uh, a seamless process for me. Um, so definitely, definitely consider the writing and who's who's holding the pen for sure. Why do you have such a trust in Veronica? Um, is it just past experiences or stuff you've seen of hers? What is it about Veronica's style that allows you as a performer to just throw up your hands and say, give it to me? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, outside of just being a fan of her, you know, her previous work, she's just an excellent collaborator. And, and you know, with somebody who was always keeping us in the loop, um, always asking for our advice and opinions, just as far as what we were feeling from these characters. Um, and, you know, when you, when you feel that something's working in a scene, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but, um, you know, you just sort of, you, you, you bank on that, right? It's just like, this is working, this is serving story and character in the way that it should be. Um, and so, you know, you just sort of follow the North Star and Veronica was definitely the North Star in this. And so appreciate her leadership in the process. What do you hope people take from this series other than being stressed the hell out like I was watching it? <laughs> Not that I'm projecting, but go ahead. <laughs> um, man, honestly, I just hope they enjoy it. I hope they, you know, are are in their their basements and you know they're you know they have their popcorn, they have their glass of wine, whatever it may be, whatever your thing may be, um, box of chocolates. Um, you know, whatever, whatever keeps you going. And, you know, they're able to just, you know, watch consecutive, you know, episode after episode and get lost in, in, in the world of Sophie and the world of Baden and the world of James um, in the world of surface, much like I was as, as an actor being a part of the process. So, you know, I think if, as long as you're enjoying it on your Friday nights and, and, you know, you have something to talk about the next day at work, I think we've done our job. Uh, Miss West, you're writing gave me uh, a lot of stress. Um, I don't know what else to say other than you kept me guessing. And I was fearful the whole time. I guess mission accomplished because you had me hook, line, and sinker. Um, but I don't know whether to like you for what you did to me or to hate the fact you stressed me out. I'm sort of conflicted. I absolutely love that reaction. Um, that's really what we set out to do is surprise people at every turn and start the story in a place where Sophie played so beautifully by Gugu really feels like a damsel in distress in this classic kind of noir format at the beginning. But as soon as cards starting start to get turned over, you quickly realize that that's not who she is at all. Um, and not just Sophie's character, but everybody around her is really not who they seem to be at the beginning of the series. There are surprises, and then there's what you guys do to us, what specifically you do to us in this show. Because, dear Lord, there's nothing about this show that appears what it should possibly be in the first episode. So I'm telling anybody who's watching this right now, if you watch the first episode and you think you got it figured out, you don't got anything figured out because there's a, a cavern between the beginning and the end of what goes on in this series. So I guess my question is, where did you get the idea for this? And was Gugu always your first choice? 
absolutely. Um, I've been a fan of Gugu since the beginning. And I think she brings a chameleon like quality to the role. Uh, she so masterfully kind of embodies all the different sides of Sophie and without an actress of that caliber, this story would sink, you know, as, as you're saying, as the show continues, different sides of Sophie are unveiled. We get to see her before the accident in flashbacks. We get to see all these different facets of her personality. And it was such a gift to have Gugu embody that. Well, when I talked to Oliver and Gugu just a little while ago, they said it's one thing to have these great parts, but the writing from beginning to end was so brilliant that it made it fun to come to work. I mean, when you hear something like that as a writer, that's got to uplift you at least a little bit. Well, it's very nice to hear that. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> um, one of my favorite moments on set was actually Gugu and Ollie and I were working through a scene, one of the bigger fights that James and Sophie have together. And some of the emotions and the attitudes we were refining together as a group. And I rewrote some of the dialogue in the margins, as you do with the headphones on in the tent with the masks on. <laughs> and I'm rewriting the dialogue and they say, okay, great, let's try that. And they were standing on either side of me and they started doing the characters and being the voices. And that's how I hear it in my head. Like, that's my process. I have to have total silence. And I just hear the characters have the fight or, or the, the emotional situation they're going through. So to have them doing it live, I was like, can you guys come home with me and do this every time I'm writing? Because this is a dream come true.